Hi, my name is Cindy. I'm a master potter here at Clay Expression. Thank you for watching our channel. I'm demonstrating how to throw a 3 kilo vessel on the wheel today. Do subscribe to our channel by clicking on that button below. Let's begin with centering. Centering is the first step in pottery making and it is the most important step. Without the clay being centered, the odds of your work succeeding is very low. Take time to center the clay. The process of centering is called coning. In this process, my hands are positioned opposite of each other. I apply force and allow the clay to move upwards with my hands. Once the clay is in a cone position, then it is time to bring it down. I like coordinating the downward force from my hands with the spinning movement of the wheel when I bring the clay to centre. When the movements are coordinated well, there will be a momentum that will help me bring the clay down to centre. Small efforts with big results. Once my clay is centred, the next step is to create the opening. At this stage, I will decide on the width of the base of my piece and prepare the clay for the next stage, which is pulling. For me, the first pull is the safest pull. So I would actually grip as much clay as I can and pull it upwards. It is the safest pull because there is still a lot of clay in the walls maintaining the stability. As for the second pool, the walls are going to be stretched further. I will start to be more cautious with my hand movements. With every pool, I make sure that my rim is under control. The rim is the first thing that my eye sees. If the rim is wobbly and out of whack, I will feel that my piece may not succeed. The question of must I have a shape in mind before I start making? The answer is yes. I don't normally have the exact image in mind, but I do have an idea of what type of shape I want to make. Now that I've got the height that I want, it is time to shape the clay. I want to create a form with a small opening on the top and a big belly for its body. The plan is to control the top portion of the cylinder first. Then I'm going to push out the belly from the bottom and start tapering the cylinder from halfway point. Looking and feeling the shape that I want, I think I'm going to do it one more time by pushing the belly out a little more and make it look bigger. Just take note, keep the rim in check. Alright, I have the first draft of a shape now. It is time to refine the piece. I will now use a wooden rib to clean up the curves and give it a defined shape. I love watching how the rib helps define the shape. Okay, cleaning up the rim a little bit here and done. Thank you for watching.